Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture series of Software Engineering. I am Shilpa Jackson, Assistant Professor in the Department of Computer Applications from the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. In the previous session, we have seen the Software Development Life Cycle, that is SDLC. Today, we are going to see different models under SDLC. We are going to discuss the first model of SDLC, that is Waterfall Model. In this module, we are going to see SDLC models, need of waterfall model, there are different stages under waterfall model, its advantages and disadvantages. So let us begin with today's session. As discussed in the previous session, SDLC is a framework that defines different activities which are involved under the software development process. There are different models under SDLC, Waterfall Model, RAD Model which stands for Rapid Application Development, Spiral Model, V Model, Incremental Model, Agile Model, Iterative Model and Big Bang Model. So in this session, we are going to discuss the first model that is Waterfall Model. Okay, so let us understand Waterfall Model now. Waterfall model is an example of sequential model. In this model, the software development activities is divided into different phases and each phase consists of a series of activities and has different objectives. In fact, this is the first model which was widely used in the software industry. It is divided into phases and the output of one phase becomes the input of the next phase. It is mandatory for a phase to be completed before the next phase starts. In short, there is no overlapping of the phases in the waterfall model. Now let us see what is the need of waterfall model. First point. The requirements are clear and not changing frequently. Whenever the requirements are fixed by the client, then we can opt for waterfall model. Second is, application is complicated and big. In that case also, we opt for waterfall model. Third is, the environment is stable. That means the environment details are fixed by the client at the very first stage. Third is, technology and tools used are not dynamic and are stable. That means after collecting requirements, the technological requirements and the tools are fixed. Last is, the resources are available and well trained. So in these cases, we prefer waterfall model. Now let us see the different stages of waterfall model. Almost the stages which we discussed SDLC are also present in waterfall model. Requirement analysis, system design, implementation, system testing, system deployment and system maintenance. Let us study about them one by one. The very first stage is requirement gathering and analysis. As we have already discussed in SDLC stages also, during this phase the detailed requirement of the software system to be developed are gathered from the client. Here the business analyst and the project organizers, they set up a meeting with the client to gather all the data like what the customer wants to build, who will be the end user, what is the objective of the product. All these are collected during this phase. The second stage is designing the software. Here, the preliminary details like what programming languages are to be used, for example, Java, PHP, .NET, C++, and what database are we going to select, whether we are opting for MySQL or Oracle, whatever database we are going to opt will be decided over here. Then. Other high technical, technical details of the project are also fixed in this stage. 
Next important stage is build stage. So after the designing, now it's time to build the software. So here comes the coding part of the software. So whatever programming language we have decided in the previous stage will be implemented over here in this stage. After coding, now it's time to test the software, whether it meets the requirement of the client or not. So in this phase, you test the software to verify that it is built as per the specifications given by the client. During this stage, three important tests takes place. Unit testing, integration testing and system testing. Now what is unit testing? It is a software testing type in which we focus on the smallest unit of the software design. The second type of testing is integration testing in which we club all the units or modules which we have tested in the previous unit testing and we check whether they work as a combined entity or not. The third type of testing is system testing. In this type of software testing, we check whether the software works fine with the different operating systems or not. The next phase of waterfall model is deployment phase. Here, the deployment of the application in the respective environment takes place at the client side. The last stage of the waterfall model is the maintenance phase. Once the system is ready to use, you may later require, the client may require the following changes, which has to be applied in the developed software. So this is the phase where the care is taken for the developed product. So now we have seen all the different stages of waterfall model. Now let us discuss the different advantages and disadvantages of waterfall model. The first advantage is before the next phase of development begins, the previous stage must be complete. Second is, it is suitable for smaller project where the requirements are well defined. That means if the requirements are well defined, less time will be taken. One more advantage of waterfall model is elaborate documentation is done at every phase of the software's development cycle. That means if elaborate documentation is done at every stage, the people working at next phase will be aware of the things. Now there are some disadvantage of waterfall model. Let us discuss those. The first is, whenever the requirements are changing frequently, we cannot use waterfall model. That is, it is not desirable for complex projects where the requirements changes frequently. The second point is, the testing phase comes quite late in the software developmental process. That means, in between, if we have to conduct some testing, we cannot do in waterfall model. The last disadvantage is the documentation which is done at every stage occupies a lot of time of developers and testers because of which more time is taken for the software development. So I hope you have understood waterfall model very well. In the next session, we will see the next models.